Welcome, everybody. We are diving back into our ongoing series. It is all over the Ultimate Chat GPT Guidebook for Real Estate Agents. Now, this is a book that we wrote, and it is all about the things that you as a real estate agent need to know to be really great at ChatGPT. Now, you can pick up a copy of it. And if you're interested, you can go to workflowsecrets.info forward slash WFS GPT guide. I'll throw that link down in the description. Now, the reason you can't go pick up a physical copy, we get this question all the time. It's because AI and ChatGPT are changing so often. I didn't want to publish a copy to you and either a I have to keep updating it and uh, every like couple of weeks there's a new version or b uh, you get it in the mail and it's already outdated that just seems terrible so you can gain access to this uh, by going to that website uh, it's $39 and that would be a really great way for you to help support us over here if you're not so yet sold on this idea stick around and uh, watch these videos these are literally covering each of the sections and at the end of this, I'm going to have hopefully uh, 20 or 30 videos that you can follow along. And um, all you have to do is listen to my lovely, lovely voice um, to get the benefit of it. But uh, today, what we are going to be covering is some operational prompts. Now, operational prompts, uh, that comes from the core strategies framework. This is one of our frameworks over here at Workflow Secrets that we share with real estate agents when we're coaching them. So conversions is all about uh, bringing in those leads, converting them into customers. Operations is all about your business operations and how you set up all of your systems within your business. And then we've got retention which is past client retention, getting them to come back. And then the experiences are actually interwoven in between all of the three, um, creating core, it's an acronym, core strategies, right? And uh, today we are going to be focusing specifically on the operation side with a single step as well as a multi-step prompt. So to start, let's go ahead and let's look at this prompt. Let's kind of break it down. Let's see if we can't understand what's going on. And I'm going to give you a little bit of um, information about this just to help you um, as you're building these out at home. Uh, so very first, Create a verbose. Now, I wanted uh, to kind of like pause here, and I even pulled up a Google um, search of this. I could have used ChatGPT, but uh, what in the heck is the word verbose? Now, I don't know about you, but verbose is not a word that I use all that often. So verbose is a word that is used to express in more uh, words uh, than are needed. <laughs> Woof. Uh, I probably oftentimes speak uh, with ver verbose, with verbosity. Um, let me know in the comments what that would be. Um, but um, essentially, this is a power phrase that we can use inside of ChatGPT to help get it to kind of write like a human. So I know for a little bit, there was this ongoing push to have AI... Uh, generated contents like capturing softwares where they could kind of delineate between what is and isn't AI generated. And um, OpenAI recently came out and they actually just let go of their, um, uh, their like checkers to make sure what was and what wasn't. It's really difficult, especially when you're using words like this uh, to differentiate. So at that point, we need to take a step back and we really need to focus on why are we creating this content? What is the objective of any content that we're ever creating uh, when we're using ChatGPT? And I think if we ask ourselves that question, are we actually looking to help inform, educate, inspire, empower with the content we're building? It's probably good content. If we're looking just to crank out content because we don't want to do it, maybe you maybe check your motives, right? Um, but um, that is just like a, a personal uh, feeling towards it. You know, AI is a really strong tool. It's our job to put the pointy in in the front and make sure we uh, run with speed. But uh, creating a verbose three paragraph property description. Um, and uh, so we're explaining in uh, chat GPT, creating a verbose three paragraph property description, what we want to create. 
Now, we are using the fair housing guidelines. I told you guys I would be talking about the fair housing guidelines. Really cool thing about ChatGPT, it has the fair housing guidelines and the Fair Housing Act built into it. So we can use statements like, oh, don't forget to use this to ensure that it's covered. I know that we as real estate agents have to focus on ensuring that we meet the fair housing guidelines. So why not include it, right? In a long form text. Now, here's another power phrase. Long form text means in paragraphs, right? That highlights the unique features of the home using the property details listed below. Now, this is a little segue that I want to pause. And I've talked about this in other videos, but one of the really powerful ways that you can use prompts and you can use them again and again is building out um, lists with fill in the blank characteristics, right? So I have told ChatGPT, hey, I'm not gonna tell you in this prompt what the characteristics are. I'm gonna throw that below. Um, and then I've allocated some space below where I built out this list. So it's gonna state the address, the city, the state, the price, bedrooms, bathrooms, garage, lot size, as well as special features. Now, this is kind of like an Excel document, right? Right. We'll get to why in a second. Um, but uh, doing that, that gives me a field that I can go back to and I can reuse this prompt and I can just change the parameters in which, you know, maybe it's a different address. Maybe it's a different price point. Hopefully it has, um, you know, different lot sizes or things like that. You can adjust those, but you can move with a little bit of speed while doing this. Right. And then once we have that, it says include a bullet list of highlighted information and a summary of why it would be a good property for them to look at, right? So now we've asked ChatGPT, hey, uh, we want to make a property description. It has to follow the fair housing guidelines. I'm going to give you a list of details. Oh, and give me some bullet points as well as some highlights on why this would be a good property, right? So we've told it a lot of different things. This is the multi-step prompt. And the really cool thing about ChatGPT, it's going to understand all of it, right? Uh, utilization of every property detail is not necessary. However, use a proper mix of information provided to create a narrative describing and or description and lifestyle that could be achieved when owning the home, right? So this last bit's just giving it a little bit of finishing context. Hey, I don't need to have you use every single detail. You see this a lot. Sometimes prompts uh, when they output, they're they're basically like copy pasting the the language you use, the parameters you give, and it feels very robotic. So this is a way we've we've really pulled out all of our power phrases. We've used verbose, we've used uh, long form text, and now at the end of it, we're giving it a little bit of coaching or context of like, hey, it's not all important, so you don't have to use all of it, but give me a good healthy mix of that, and let's see what you can come up with, right? So. From here, it's going to start spitting out a property description. Now, as a real estate agent, I would encourage you. Um, I, I heard this on a webinar the other day from one of our good friends. Um, his name's Michael Thorne, right? You may may have heard him before. He's pretty uh, well known in the real estate industry. But he said, you would never publish something that you hadn't read through first, right? You would never put your name on something you hadn't read through first, don't do it with ChatGPT, right? This is where my magic word discernment comes in. Um, it's my favorite word uh, because I think that if uh, if you can keep that one word in your mind, it's going to help you out a lot in this world. But um, this is how we can leverage multi-step prompts. It's got a lot of information in it um, inside of ChatGPT. Now, there are some other prompts that we could do um, that are considered multi-step prompts, but aren't as lengthy as this one, right? Uh, so I've got a couple examples here. Now, I will note, if you picked up the Ultimate Chat GPT Guide, there's just oodles and oodles and oodles and oodles of examples. I just copy-pasted like four or five of them, right? So here's another one. Create an email reply thinking the home seller for the opportunity to assist with the selling their home, right? So it's a nice little thank you letter and it's going to be an email. Include an attachment reference, including a copy of the signed listing agreement um, and needs uh, 
and needs to schedule time for a walkthrough of the property. Cool. Let's break that one down. Clearly, I can't read. It's fine. Um, so create an email replying, thanking the house seller for the opportunity to assist with selling their home. So we're going to send out an email. Thank you so much for the opportunity to sell your home. Um, we could add additional things like uh, the greeting should be warm and friendly or gracious, right? Um, and then we've also given it the second step. Include an attached reference indicating a copy of the signed listing agreement. Now, I don't know about you. I personally would not put a signed listing agreement inside of ChatGPT. So this is going to involve a little bit of manual processing. Um, it's just a good rule of thumb not to put sensitive business information inside of ChatGPT. Now, the caveat to that would be if you have inside of your settings of ChatGPT, turned off its ability to train off your data. Now you lose the ability to have that list on the left-hand side after 30 days, it scrubs it, but um, you know, give or take. I think this one is a really good prompt. I think it does involve us taking and adding a, an additional step of a little bit of manual adjustment, right? Um, and needs to schedule time for a walkthrough of the property. Uh, so we're basically stating, uh, we want an email, we want to thank them, and we're going to use that thank you email to send them a copy of that signed listing agreement, as well as ask them to schedule a time to walk through that property. Um, from here, ChatGPT is going to get to work. It's going to build that email. It's going to take all three of those things that it wants or that we want it to do. It's going to build it. That's pretty cool, right? Uh, let's look at one more example. We're going to keep moving forward. Um, so uh, here's a shorter one. Uh, create five Twitter posts, social media. Could be Twitter, could be Facebook, whatever. This time it's Twitter. Create five Twitter posts for this property with hashtags using the property information above. So this would be something that we could apply this list of um, parameters, right? So we could take this list and create a, a Twitter post and uh, include those parameters. Now, it does say um, above, this information above, and this is something that ChatGPT does once you've given it information. It does remember it um, to an extent. I, uh, I've i got some chats that are pretty old, um, dating back to like uh, the beginning of the year, and uh, I do have to remind uh, those chats a little bit about the information that I've trained into them, that I've seeded into it. Um, so its memory isn't perfect, but hey, mine isn't either. Um, but uh, we are calling to the effect uh, that we've given information above and um, it's doing that. Now, at this point, personally, I like to just copy that information and restate it. Um, it's, you know, an extra two and a half seconds, but it is going to ensure that ChatGPT understands what you got going on. But um, right there, it's going to spit out five Twitter posts with appropriate hashtags and uh, it's going to get to work for you. So that is a really cool way that we can use multi-step prompts. Now let's, uh, let's talk about single step prompts. What about, um, you know, when we are inside of chat GPT and, uh, maybe we're not asking it to do lots and lots of things. Um, that is going to be when we would lean into single step prompts. So multi-step single step, this works for all of the core strategies frameworks, um, in their own right. And truthfully, that's what we're covering in these videos. So let's look at an example of this one. And again, oodles and oodles inside the ultimate chat GBT guidebook. I'm just going to cover a couple for the sake of brevity on this uh, video. And you might notice right here, I do have a document for you. Uh, you could probably start typing this URL and I will throw it in the link down below and I'll show you what it is in just a second. Um, but uh, let's look at this prompt. So make a schedule for all tasks needed for a real estate agent to perform when listing a home for selling from their time uh, the listing agreement is signed until the buyer is found and an offering is accepted for the state of Missouri. Wolf, that is a long one, but what is it asking us to do? We are making a schedule for all of the tasks needed uh, from the time a listing agreement is signed until a buyer is found and an offer is accepted. Uh, so this is essentially 
what would start the foundations of a workflow. Now, um, there's a piece of software. Uh, it's called a CRM, a customer relationship management software. Um, Mark, my business partner, is the creator, the founder, the um, guy who made um, a CRM called Realvolve, and they have what's called a workflows engine inside of it. I'm I'm probably talking to the choir at this point, but uh, the workflows engine allows you to take these lists of things, all of the different pieces that would go into that and build it into a system that can uh, have automated tasks go into it. So that's pretty neat. Um, but uh, this is an incredible prompt for ChatGPT to give us just a foundation, right? If we are brand new to real estate and we need to know um, all of the tasks involved with any one process, boom, we can use this single step prompt and ask it um, and it's going to help us out. So that is the idea behind a single step prompt. Let's, uh, let's look at one more just to really kind of solidify this, right? So create a marketing plan, calendar slash schedule for a new listing in Springfield, Missouri. So again, we've asked it to do one single thing. We want it to create a marketing plan, calendar schedule. It doesn't quite know what it uh, what we want to call it. So we're just giving it a couple of different names for that. But what it is going to do is it's going to say, hey, uh, this week you need to post this, this, and this um, at this platform, this platform, this platform, um, and it should include this, this, and this. Here's some good hashtags to use. Things like that that it can help us create, right? So we are leveraging ChatGPT in our asset creation process, right? Now, uh, let's go ahead and let's talk about this URL that I have. So um, when we are looking at operational single step prompts or when we're looking at uh, prompts that have um, parameters built into them. I don't know about you, but sometimes this gets a little confusing. So what we did um, over here, and like I said, I'll let you guys have this. It's a link down in the description. Uh, it is a little bit of Excel magic. Now we are using uh, Google Sheets, so I guess it's more of Google Sheets magic. Uh, but uh, there is an integration that you can use um, using uh, ChatGPT. Uh, you have to pull one of their APIs, and it is added through the extensions, uh, GPT for Sheets. Um, and all you have to do is set your API key. I'm not going to click on it and show you it. You're going to have special ones for your account. You can find those on OpenAI's website under your settings for your account. Um, but you plug that in and uh, then you can use things like this. So here is that list of all the property things. And then here's the information in a seeded format. So we've taken Excel rows. And uh, now it just builds it all. That way you don't have to spend time copy pasting into each of these rows. Another thing that you can do that's really cool is uh, here's a basic prompt that you could do for some different pieces. And then using that basic prompt, it's going to seed all of this information into one. So now all I had to do was copy this, throw it in chat GPT, and it's going to start working its magic. So that is a little resource. That's a little fun little tool that uh, we built out for you guys. And this is actually kind of the foundation of a software that we have been building. I've been teasing it on our YouTube channel for a while. And, uh, you know, if you've got like two and a half seconds, I... Uh, would love to show you what it is. So this is called SAM, the Systems Accelerator Manager. Um, we're still working on the dashboard. We are actually not in beta yet, but we're getting very close. And if you are interested in um, joining our beta, I am currently looking for 20 tech-empowered real estate agents, which I would wager is probably you because you are still watching this video. But you can go to workflowsecrets.info forward slash SAM beta and uh, you can sign up. You're going to get 30-day access to our um, beta for free. And uh, this is the really cool thing. So I was talking to you about operational prompts today. Well, within SAM, we have conversion, operation, retention, and experience. Sound familiar, right? And the cool thing that SAM can do is he can build you out resources faster than you ever thought possible. So inside of this, uh, you can ask or you can state what type of resource you'd like to make, uh, what type of resource that's going to be, what team member you have, what their niches are, and you can set those all up in the settings. And then all you have to do is hit begin 
Um, and then from there, Sam is going to think about everything. It does take a little second. Um, I, I keep saying in videos, sorry, it's not Amazon. Um, he's going to ask you some refining questions. These are like the tuning fork. And the really cool thing, I have it set up so that he gives you an answer right there. It's already there. Now, obviously, read the question, apply a little discernment, add to it. You are the expert in real estate, not Sam. You should do it, right? If you don't like any of these questions, throw a little thumbs down. He's not going to even worry about that. Hit generate. Again, now he's taking all of the information he got from the questions, all of the information that you plugged in that you were interested in. Uh, inside the settings, you tell him all about your business and your company and what you do, what type of real estate uh, you like to work in, what niche um, you have. And then he's going to create a resource for you. And uh, it's never been uh, seen before. And uh, man, that was pretty quick. So this is our... Um, software and um, the systems accelerator manager, Sam, uh, it's going to be coming to the public really soon. It, um, you know, is kind of taking this just another step and uh, it's taking what you can do with inside of chat GBT and it is just maximizing it because at the end of the day, I, I know that I have to teach you how to do this stuff or you have to go learn about how to do this stuff. And that just, that seems silly. Why, why focus on this when you already are really good at real estate? Like, let me just give you a tool. I'll worry about this stuff. Give you a tool. You go use the tool. You'd be great at real estate. We all win, right? Uh, so that's what's going on with Sam. Like I said, I will throw this uh, prompt generator uh, in the description. You can, um, you know, download a copy of it. Um, if uh, you're interested in the ultimate chat GPT guidebook for real estate agents, uh, the link to pick up your own copy of that. Like I said, there are just oodles and oodles of prompts. Um, and uh, if you're interested in Sam, I know I'm throwing so much at you. Uh, you can go to Workflow Secret Sam Beta. I do have a link in the description. I, it's just, it lives in my, um, my YouTube uh, comments. Uh, I am looking for 20 real estate agents. I would love to have you. Honestly, if I got 21, I would take 21. If I got 201, I'd take 201. Um, I will be rolling that to the public shortly after, but uh, that's what we've got uh, for today. I hope that has been helpful in kind of looking at some business operation specific prompts, how we can leverage a couple uh, AI resources and tools in our business and uh, just what we can do with some business prompts uh, to move with speed inside of uh, ChatGPT. But uh, that's all I've got for today. So I will see you guys very soon.